hello students now it's time for revision we have already finished two chapters so now we will start our revision with first chapter the first chapter force and pressure but first we will take force as our revision so come to here topic revision force standard eight physics now here go to this this is a force we know what is force a push or a pull which brings the change of position of an object a push or a pull which brings the change of position of an object is known as force lot of examples we have gone through while pushing or pulling lot of examples we have already written go through there now come to here after this force types of force now we'll learn types of force force is divided in two types two parts first one you can see contact force and second one is non contact force first one is contact force and second one is non contact force so first one contact force what is contact force if two bodies are in touch or two bodies are in contact then force between them is contact force example while you are pushing a car then you have to touch the car so if the two bodies are in touch then only you can apply the force this is the force called contact force contact force is also two types it means you can say two examples are contact force is there the first one is frictional force frictional force force of friction if the body is moving force applied by the surface to oppose the motion that is known as frictional force that's why while you are throwing a ball on the surface after some time it stops what is the reason the reason is due to force of friction applied by the surface this is contact force number 2 muscular force muscular force is also contact force muscular force we have seen while uh, two wrestlers two wrestlers are fighting each other then they are applying muscular force a block cart a bell is a bull is pulling a cart with the muscles so lot of examples are there of muscular force so contact force is of two types frictional force and muscular force now come to non contact force non contact force it is clear by its name if the bodies are not in touch if the bodies are separate and then force applied between them is known as non contact force if the bodies are apart from each other and force between them so it is of three types non contact force of three types or you can say three examples of non contact force number 1 magnetic force magnetic force you all know force applied by the magnet in this case you are not touching the magnet to the magnetic object magnet is apart from apart from distance magnet applied the force to the magnetic objects and it pulls so this is non contact force second one electrostatic force electrostatic force force between two charged bodies is known as electrostatic force uh, you have already gone through this example take a plastic ruler rub with your hair or any cloth and bring near to the small pieces of paper what do you find paper are attracted pulled by the ruler it is due to electrostatic force third one is gravitational force gravitational force it is also known as force of gravity and this force is applied by the earth to all the objects or force between two object in the universe so if you will throw any object it comes down to the earth what is the reason the reason is force applied by the earth to pull every object that's why 
all the objects are falling down coming down towards the earth this was the reason the force was discovered by newton while he was sitting under a tree apple tree one apple was falling then he thought why it is not going up why it is coming down then he decided to find out the reason and he got the reason is gravitational force due to some force it is cooling down that is gravitational force so these are the three examples now come uh, after this unit of force unit of force is newton because force was discovered by newton that's why its unit is newton 1 newton is equal to 1 kg multiplied by 1 meter divided by 1 second square this complete is known as 1 newton now the magnitude of force how will you find the magnitude of force there is a formula force is equal to mass into acceleration or mass into gravity so here we learn about the gravity force is equal to mass multiplied gravity force is equal to mass into gravity g stands for gravity gravitational force and its value is 9.8 meter per second square so whenever you have to find force you need mass and gravity is already given 9.8 it is scientifically it is proved value so you have to apply this value so and here i have drawn a figure a car just for knowledge of force somebody is pushing a car means applying the force by pushing by pulling also you can draw your own figure so this much the revision of the force if you have any query any doubt please send the question through messages of campus care i will reply i will give the answer this much only next day we will continue we will continue with the uh, after this effects of forces we will continue there till then thank you goodbye